Hello, I'm James Michael Tyler. Welcome to Book Look. We're here today in New York City with J.R. Moringer to talk about his first book, a memoir entitled The Tender Bar. J.R., thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. What inspired you to write your memoir? The first time I ever walked in the bar, I wanted to tell a story about it. That's how people in my hometown and in my family kind of make meaning out of life, is by telling stories. And when I was a kid, the place was so vivid and powerful to me that I just immediately began crafting my experience of it into a story. How does the bar figure into your story? The bar is a great old bar in my hometown of Manhattan, Long Island, where I was able to find replacement fathers among the actors and hoodlums and bookies and soldiers and cops who hung out there. Can you tell us about your Uncle Charlie? Well, some say he is the most colorful character in a bar full of colorful characters. He was um, funny, witty, tragic, um, a flamboyant gambler, an incredible Homeric drinker. He was my entree into the bar, so he was my guide in the bar. And because I was uh, Chaz's nephew, um, I was an untouchable. I, was, I walked into the bar as a princeling. When you first walked into the bar, how old were you? I was 10, and I was sent down there by grown-ups to get some cigarettes from my Uncle Charlie. How were you different from other kids at that age? I think I felt the absence of my father more than maybe other boys who grew up without a father, and, and partly that was because he was on the radio all the time. So I grew up knowing what he sounded like, but not what he looked like. And that created a kind of a, a haunting ache, and it's what ultimately led me to the bar, and it's also what led me to romanticize the male figure, the romantic male ideal that I found in such abundance at the bar. What did the bar provide that your mother didn't? Fathers. Um, pretty early on, I figured out that men hung out at this bar, and not just men, but an extraordinary collection of alpha males, soldiers, actors, poets, bookies, cops. Uh, it, the bar was just an unusual ensemble of terrific, colorful guys. And so from a pretty early age, I saw that it had what I was looking for, male role models. Um, and then I got more than I was looking for because my Uncle Charlie, who worked in the bar, and his fellow bookies and bartenders kind of whisked me away when I was 10 years old, took me to the beach and to the ballpark and the racetrack and, and helped raise me uh, sort of as a father by committee. Do you spend much time in bars today? No, I don't, and um, there was something different about this bar. So even when I was hanging out there, I didn't think of it as hanging out in bars. I always felt that this bar was better than other bars. And looking back, I feel even more certain of that. It was different, and it was not just a bar. It was the meeting place of my hometown. It was the beating heart of the community where I grew up. It was the way I learned how to become a man, and it was also where I learned to love storytelling and storytellers. So to me, it was always something other than a bar. And when the bar closed, I I had no reason anymore to hang out in bars. The book is The Tender Bar by J.R. Moringer and is a poignant coming-of-age story about life, love, and family. Uh, buy this at your local bookseller or online and read the book, more importantly, because it's a great one. Mm -hmm.